Hey there, Podheads. We don't usually do this, but this is a trigger warning for episode 14 of SidePod. On this episode, we made a few rather crass and abrasive jokes. Um, I think what some people would consider untasteful or in poor taste or in bad taste. All in all, things that don't taste good. And yeah, we do not... Uh, so this is just a warning for those of you who... Uh, who probably um, don't like or feel overwhelmed by such kind of humor. This is your trigger warning, just to let you all know that things will get a little more offensive than they usually do on our other episodes. Uh, this episode just uh, turns it up a little bit more. And also, um, while we were filming this episode, we sort of lost audio-visual feed somewhere in the middle, so there is a point where there's a jarring edit, and that's the point where we lost audio visual both audio and visual feed while we were filming so excuse that other than that um hope you enjoy this ipod and yes we are we just looked at our analytics and 60 percent of those of you who watch the podcast or uh, watch these videos are not subscribed 69, so 69 sorry 69 percent of you are not subscribed though you watch our videos so please subscribe to Junor. we're trying to get to a thousand we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers very soon. And yeah, enjoy the sidepod and have a great weekend. Sidepod. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, okay. And we start off then in uno, dos, and. And what? And what, kid? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> no, no, I want, I want you to prove to the camera that you know Spanish. Uno, dos. Tres, cuatro, uh -huh. Uh -huh. cinco. Say one more. Say one more word. That's it. <laughs> and welcome to another exciting episode. Well, I assume it's exciting for you. For me personally, not so much. But yes, welcome to another exciting episode of SciPod. This is number 14. Just pointing at a big fat green wall right now, but all right. And... Yes, uh, we are with me, uh, Kinder Finso, and today with me I also have Poop. Your co-host. Yes, my co-host, Poop. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who know, Poop's been around for quite a while now, and um, if you haven't noticed, he's sort of been in the background, but we thought we'd bring him out today. He's been, he's been one of our sponsors and our producers, and um, today, to oh, celebrate this momentous occasion, he's worn green shorts. I have, but my first question is, I've been producing this? Well, we've been getting money from somewhere. I, I gotta make a few calls, man. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, oh, okay, then we, we'll sort that out later. <laughs> so how's your weekend been? Good. Um, started off really good. Mm. Uh, and then this happened. <laughs> and then now I'm here, so... I guess... I guess there's a very clear line. If you drew a regression line... Mm -hmm. you, you can do a regression li line, right? Oh, that yeah. We'll try a right, regression so, line. So on this axis is fun, and mm. this is Friday, and mm. this is Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it goes off like this. Started off real good, and then I was with my girlfriend up until now, so it was fun. Then I hung out with. By the way, when friends. he was out with his so, girlfriend, this is her regression line. Nice. <laughs> That's below the axis, bro. That's anyway, the whole point. So <laughs> I come here, and then. It's a downward trending chart now. So. Uh, everything's a downward trending chart now. Yeah, so let's start by talking about why I am a co-host this week instead of being a guest. Mm. You were the first person I could think of. <laughs> no, no, no. The reason I am a co-host is because this chair is empty. This is where I was supposed to sit. Mm. Someone else was supposed to be here. Someone else was supposed to be here, but someone else was a little too sloshed last night. Someone else actually forced me to take a shot with him last night. Nice. And then we had a drink. And the, the, shot was, the shot was not shot pleasant. Shotchi. Shotchi. <laughs> Shotchi. <laughs> Shotchi. <laughs> Shotchi. And it was not a pleasant one. I told him I didn't want to, but then he held me down. All right. I have a phone number you can call. Mm -hmm. 113. Ah. All right. Mm. Uh, That's who I called for when my uncle went missing as well. <laughs> Which uncle? <laughs> The uncle who I shared my first beer with, I told mm -hmm. you, you know. Shared and your beer. first kiss with? Yeah. How was it? Too much tongue. Mm. 
How did you know though that there was too much dung if it was your first kiss? I felt it in my anus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where tongues belong, man. That's not where tongues belong. That's what I told him. What did he say? He said, shut up and keep kissing my ass. <laughs> okay, so this was like, like just walk me through the biophysics of this. He is kissing your ass and you're kissing your, his ass. So it's like... We took turns. Oh, okay. okay. All right. It's very disturbing to know. Mm-hmm. All right, so I also had a question. I was, I've, I've been wondering, because this is the 14th episode of Cybot. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been wondering, why? Like, why what? Why did you feel like the world needed one more podcast you know out there we're battling a pandemic we're battling mm-hmm. climate change everything's a foregone conclusion everything shit and you decided that you would contribute to it with another podcast mm-hmm. why what gives you the right how dare you <laughs> i'm an agent of chaos <laughs> <laughs> lick your lips I'm an agent of chaos. Nice apple, by the way. Today we've got apples brought to you by Nola's neighbor. Nice. He's so I, I don't eat this because remember this trend last year when people made cake out of everything? Something in I'm so sorry. I, have, I'm, I do not follow trends. I try to stay away from them as you far as possible. create trends. I don't even create so cool. trends. Hashtag edgy. Anyway, go on. Anyway, yeah. They're creating cakes out of everything. Everything. And so you would, you would see something and it would look like an everyday object and then they would cut it and it would be cake. So... Oh, wait. I, I just... I stopped trusting things by then. Oh, well, this is not cake. I, it's, 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 it's a real you apple. You say that, but... Would it help if you could imagine it as pork? Not pork. Beef. Halal. I'm halal now. Dude, I can't get you a Muslim dude. A Muslim what? I can't get a, a Muslim apple. Yeah. All right. All right. Then I don't eat it, I guess. Mm. All right. So this is falling flat a bit. <laughs> where is Sai, man? Where is Sai? Sai, where are you? Sai, please come save us. <laughs> I forgot all the jokes I had planned. You had jokes? Yeah. You had jokes. I had jokes, man. All right. So check this out, right? Mm-hmm. See, I forgot. That's what I mean, man. <laughs> the lights turn on and I forget everything. Mm. Anyway, let's talk about your company, Nyingnor. Is that the one you're running right now? I mean, you have... That's learn- Nyingnor, right? Yeah. What do you do exactly with Nyingnor? I don't know, man. What do you mean? You? I'm just kidding. Please cut that out. I don't want my clients to see that. Just kidding. No, I'm going <laughs> to... Um, so we're basically just a group of creative problem solvers. Uh-huh. Um, you you come to us with a problem. And Could you say startup? We don't want to say startup mm. because I think a lot of the startup culture is toxic and we don't have them there. Um, we're a growing team, a very capable team. Whatever you want us to do, we'll do it for you in very creative ways. So let's say... You're having trouble at night with your wife. Exactly. Or, or your wife. Don't bring my wife into this. Anyone who's having <laughs> trouble at night with... Kill his wife. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's the question. She's having more fun than I am. <laughs> what? How do you solve that? Right. Mm-hmm. So uh, we you come up with creative solutions um, and uh, we're a growing team. We're at nine people now, mm-hmm. um, which makes us bigger than a lot of um, organizations out there in Bhutan. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to be humble about it, but we're so fucking cool, man. <laughs> No, but with, with Ning so but what do you mean by creative problem solving? It depends. Like, um, give us a problem. For example, maybe maybe a project that project that we think we can work on in in the next few months is mm-hmm. solving Tempus growing traffic problem. Mm-hmm. So, in order to solve that, what mm-hmm. you would do is get um, get traffic data from Google, mm-hmm. right? Because they track you. Mm-hmm. Um, use that data and then. Um, study how that affects the traffic grid lines in Tempo mm-hmm. and then make suggestions to the RBP saying hey you know what we've already done the work mm-hmm. how about you pay us now and mm-hmm. then if you pay us we'll tell you and then let's say that your child has been kidnapped right mm-hmm. we track where the kidnappers are and where do you the do the, child do you is do you do the Liam Neeson thing no we don't do that we just track where they are and then we're like alright we can tell you 
where your child is but but you pay us. <laughs> and then and but then but once, we negotiate and then, <laughs> we, 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 we're good with that way. so if and the then, kidnappers is like 100,000 we're like 50 grand max yeah. and yeah. then once they pay you all you all you all give them yeah. yeah no somebody from your team drives up in a black van and then drops the kid drops, <laughs> drops, your kid. drops a USB no drops yeah. the kid no we don't have the kid man no but then we no. just have the information on where the kid is they don't know that you have the kid or not if anybody from the police is watching, we don't have the kid. They would like to, though. We don't want to. We like, um, as the official spokesperson of the Ningner Data Company, mm -hmm. I'd like to once and for all mm -hmm. uh, put the rumors to bed and tell everyone that we don't have the kid, and we don't intend to have the kid. We've never had the kid. We don't even know who the kid is. Mm. But if you want to see that kid safe, yes, you like send this over terrible marketing. <laughs> I'm I'm here basically to destroy your company. That's fine. <laughs> but that's that's what you that's what we do. You tell us a problem, and mm. then we find creative solutions to do it. Mm. Um, so marketing, communications, mm. anything like that, man. You tell. You us also do data stuff. visualization. Right? Yeah, yeah. Next and then um, next week we're going to Pumtang to. Um, train some journalists on data interpretation and visualization mm. because um, yeah let's talk about that actually why is, yeah. why is that a necessity because um, like s let's talk about it in the avenue of public health right because pandemic is everywhere um, a worldwide panda bear yeah a panda bear mm -hmm. are you talking about Xi Jinping or either one All right. I think Xi Jinping is uh, more Winnie like Winnie the Pooh yeah, yeah that's yeah. not a panda yeah. bear so um so now our guest is finally here. Our special guest has arrived. Is it? No. No, no. damn it. Our guest is still not here. Yeah. Sorry. We've got another guest. Ladies here. and gentlemen, welcome to Sunday 3 p.m. news. In breaking news, the guest still hasn't arrived. Mm -hmm. So we're vamping. The guest maybe should have not drunk so much. Or maybe the guest needs a watch, in which case I'll keep this ready for when no, he comes. The guest being late is, is it's if, you, if you look at it, it's um, keeping true to Bhutanese traditions. It is. It is. Anyway, sorry, so go on. Well, yes. like the need for journalists to so, be able to interpret um, data. There's a wide uh, range of studies on this, and it shows that um, media and news mm -hmm. affect uh, public health seeking behaviors mm -hmm. right so the best example of that is in the US Fox News yeah so Fox when, news going or, out people or any of the yeah. or any of the podcasts the major uh, shows mm -hmm. on YouTube and stuff right if people are told that vaccines are not helpful vaccines are bad then they tend to believe it more. exactly um, especially when it's somebody who's prolific who says it. exactly and so um, the reason those kinds of fake news arise is because uh, the people who spread it uh, do it in a way that makes the news easier to consume, mm -hmm. right? They make it digestible. Oh, all right. We've got our guest is finally here. And, the guest uh, is here. I'd like to gift this uh, today's guest, uh, Tsawang, my watch. Wow. For better time. Wow, what, what timing? Time. For better time keeping next time. Ooh, is it a magic trick? Did no. I walk in on a magic trick? The magic trick here being that you seem rather sober for somebody <laughs> who drank quite a lot last night. Oh, Hi. Geez. That is just a normal Sunday. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Anyway, so you were yes. saying, so, so pe um, they, people tend to we take... Guess? What, 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 what's Casey doing here? What the hell? Oh, there's somebody else. This is my oh. biggest fan. Huh? What's he doing there? Huh? What's popping? You're showing up to the sideboard unannounced. <laughs> you? Huh? Anyway, uh, this is my show. This is my show. Okay, it's we'll my do show. It live. We'll do I, it live. I own all of you. Okay, in fetch in me water, you peasant. In, in now, we got you an apple. Oh, okay. Apple, I got an apple. That's that's good enough. Okay, that's Sorry. good enough for now. But <laughs> anyway. ask again in five minutes. Okay, yeah. how long has it been? By the way, uh, we've been about twenty minutes. Yeah, roughly twenty, 20 minutes. minutes. Okay, so, so sorry for my tardiness. More I'm like sure you want the watch. I do want the watch. Can I have the watch? Are you, are you seriously no. going to give me the watch? No, my girlfriend gave it to me. Mm. Then, then it's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry again. <laughs> Wait, what, what are you regarding carrying apples like a witch? Oh, no, uh, it's not me. No, Norla bought it. Norla. Actually, Norla stole it from his neighbor's backyard. Oh. You know what? Ah, that Richard High School. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm. Ah, school. Anyway, so we were talking about. Um, Data visualization. Yeah, how data visualization works, and also 
Why it is important. Why it is important. Damn, y'all have really short memories on here. You are going into mukbang now. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so I, obviously um okay, what do you want? Not take off your headphones. Ah, did you just do it here as well? Take off your headphones. Well, headphones are What's happening? We're doing ASMR. So, poop. <laughs> no, wait. Let me finish my thought. We're not I'm done to forget. Because <laughs> I'm about to forget. <laughs> so, as I was saying, um, fake news spreads because the people who spread them, um, they, they spread give them it real nice, man. Yeah. <laughs> the people who spread them, spread them real nice. They like, do it in digestible bits. Exactly. And uh, so the way to fight fake news is to make sure that the truth is also visualized and packaged in a an aesthetic way, right? Mm. And so data visualization is the way to do that because mm. data is very important for people to know, mm. but you got to do it in a way that makes people want to look at the data, mm -hmm. right? So mm. if you just come on uh, come on Facebook and then you'll send uh, like share a screenshot of or uh, child porn data. or in, child in Jamyang's case. <laughs> what cha Jamyang what? <laughs> His account got hacked. Hey, hey, anyway, sorry, go. It's called minor pornography, okay? Okay. Yeah, this is this, like barely legal, but in that <laughs> way. <laughs> barely illegal. <laughs> Not definitely illegal. <laughs> anyway, so digestible bits. Yeah, and then, so yeah. we do that. And so data visualization is important for that reason, mm -hmm. right? You don't want to share a screenshot of um, your report on Facebook and then expect people to understand it. Yeah, see, that's something that I have like a gripe with uh, it is w when you complain about public service service delivery in Bhutan, mm -hmm. they'll always make it seem like um, it's not public service, but rather public duty, mm -hmm. right? So if I go on, like if I tell someone Drip Trace is a shitty mm -hmm. app because sometimes you have to like hold it up against the uh, QR, QR code, code and yeah. then beg for it to work mm -hmm. and it doesn't work, right? Mm -hmm. So. If you say that, you know what people are going to say? What? If you are a true Bhutanese who cares okay, about yeah, your country, you would wait as long as it takes, right? Yeah. What if there's like a hundred people behind me waiting to use the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Highly unlikely, but go on. I mean, have you been to the banks recently? Oh have yeah, the banks. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, also, yes, I mean, eight eleven. Exactly. Right. Grocery exactly. Stores, mm -hmm. right. right. So whenever you say shit like mm -hmm. that about public service delivery, people are always like, oh, you know what? Um, like you should meet them halfway but that's not how public service delivery should work right I believe that um, if you're catering to the public if you're providing info to the public you should do it in a way that everyone understands or at least the true, majority true. understands and you should do it in a way that makes it uh, very easy and accessible for the majority to, you, to use at all times. Mm -hmm. And data visualization is a part of that, mm -hmm. right? You want people to get the information and understand the information. You don't want people to like look at the information and then maybe think, all right, let's see how quick. But then, you know, like if I need to use this, I'm not going to be able to use it. The best example of that is there's a government agency that it deals with scams and internet um, security and stuff like that, right? I thought that was the government. <laughs> the scammers or? <laughs> Both. <laughs> anyway, go on. So, Khash, look, there's, there's that agency, right? But if you look at their social media page, you'll find that every time there's like a WhatsApp scam that happens, uh, they'll post a screenshot of what to do. And it's like a long Word document of what to do, mm -hmm. right? Bullshit. Because you, uh, people who are likely to be scammed are not the kind, not the same demographics. Who's going to probably go through that exactly, entire thing? Exactly. The people who go through a, an, an entire word document on Facebook are not going to get scammed, mm -hmm. right? So uh, you just think about it like that, and then cater design information in a way that makes it very Simple. easy for uh, people to use. So that's it to visualize. Mm -hmm. But I will say that even in North Korea, you're allowed to criticize Kim Jong Un, but only once. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Then time. I was listening to this podcast. This girl, Yoon Mi Park. You know mm. what? Mm. She's the North Korean defector. No. Oh yeah, yeah. So she was on Joe Rogan. Yeah. My God. Oh yeah, yeah. Crazy yeah. man. The things that she had to go mm. through. Mm. You know, in, in North Korea, even poop is precious. They had collect nice. their own poop for fertilizer. So oh, okay. at the end of the year, they need to collect like a ton of poop mm. for the government. And they didn't have, they'll probably get punished or like concentration camp. So they had Damn. to go look around for shit. Plus, so even shit was precious in North Korea. Damn. Was there like a, was there like a reward system for 
whoever produced the most poop because I feel like I know people who would thrive in situations No, like because the people in North Korea are starving. So they poop like three times a month. Oh, shit. Have three they, times a month? That's have they considered not starving? <laughs> Starvation <laughs> solved. <laughs> North Korea saved. <laughs> that's, how crazy, expect, that's, how people, that's how people expect... people. That's how people expect you to solve mental illness. So yeah. why, why not try? Have you considered... Have you considered bro, yeah. calm down. Yeah. yeah. I feel better. <laughs> Have you considered not being sad all the yeah. time? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I've, I've been thinking about it and I feel like I have the answer to the North Korean problem, right? What? We just take a deep breath, look at the camera and then tell North Korea to cut it out, to get help, <laughs> right? Yeah. One, two, three. Hey, Kim Jong, cut it out. Cut, cut it, it out. out. Get some help and then get help. Feed some pe- give your people. <laughs> yeah. Collect your own poop, bro. <laughs> I think he's probably the only dude who's pooping like consistently. Yeah, yeah. he has yeah. freaking no, but, uh, uh, Isn't there a myth? Uh, I remember there's this entire thing that he has no uh, asshole. Yeah, like the North Korean. That was in the movie. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It makes sense now. The reason they had to tell people he has no asshole is because they needed an excuse for why he doesn't have to collect his own poop. Ah, oh, makes sense. The plot. Illuminati. The the poop thickens. The poop thickens, <laughs> which is good for bowel movement. Mm. They don't want your poop to be too watery. Mm. I need to go see a doctor now. Is it bloody? Like, can you see, or do you get up close with your poop as well? Uh, it's it's an awkward situation with my poop. Mm. Do you observe your poop on the daily? The question is, how close do you need to be to observe? Or do you like use your phone? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um, it depends. I I, I I think it, it it really depends on how. Like if it hurts when you're pooping, then maybe there's something wrong. Then you probably well, need I've, to have. If it, you hurt when you're pooping, there are piles there. I have piles. Just, that's the way. Piles. Yeah. Oh. I've got Just piles of it. <laughs> piles you know, of piles. I, I only <laughs> realized recently that hemorrhoids is piles. Oh. And did you know that I I only hemorrhoids is piles. This American term. Man. Yeah. Wow. And I only found out recently that piles is spelled just like the way you'd spell piles. For the longest time, I operated under the assumption that it was spelled P Y L E S. Mm. I don't know where I saw it, but I always saw it P Y L E. I was just learning was just every day on the side pod. Hashtag no. the more you know. The pile pod. It was just because you're an edgy person. You're like, you know what? I could spell it like this, but why don't I put in an extra non vowel? Well, right now, technically, you and I both are not so edgy. But <laughs> we're very <laughs> rounded, yeah. Well rounded folks. <laughs> technically, you guys uh, are in shape. Because it circle is, is a is shape. It, it is. It circle is. is a shape, yes. No, but I want to clarify one thing. Don't wait till it hurts to go visit a doctor. <laughs> Just it kind of hurts right now. <laughs> no, I mean like because you feel the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, does it but hurt? When you, does it hurt when you? Does it hurt? No, no, you, not always. <laughs> <laughs> only but when especially you, during anal sex. Only when uncle's been in town. Yeah, only when uncle's been in town, <laughs> and in my ass. But <laughs> I thought your ass was going to town. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle goes to town, man. <laughs> Ah, shit. This how long? Uh, how does it even come? Is it like, I heard it's like, it's like there's an extra shot Wait, from there. what? What? Come. Let's be clear on that. No, I'm saying like... Yeah, he's talking about we're talking piles. about uncles, him, man. Him, him. We're talking about uncles. We're talking about, we're talking yeah. about hemorrhoids. We're talking about piles. We're talking okay. about piles. So, um, it depends because there's something called an internal hemorrhoid and then there's something called an external hemorrhoid. And what's your situation? Uh, it's external. <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> it's like both. <laughs> no, but I got mine operated. Oh, you can take it out. Yeah, um, it's kind of funny because... Was your uncle the surgeon? (laughs) Wait, what's this thing about uncle? Did you miss anything? Yeah, Yeah, you uh, you have to listen to the start of this podcast when it comes out. You'll only find out then. You're not going to tell him. There's an uncle bit. (laughs) Yeah, there was an uncle bit. But um, so... Based on true stories. So I had gone to Calcutta and... um, uh, while I was at the, ho- I was getting my eyes checked actually, mm-hmm. and then at the same time, my uncle, uh, my uncle, <laughs> 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 I right, genuinely man. had an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Aja, Aja. Yeah, my Aja. Yeah, sure. So my Aja that was like, you know, <laughs> while you're here, you might as well, you know, get a full checkup. Mm. You know, like you're not gonna like. You know, it's everything is here. Get, might as well get it done. Did you say your eyes are shit? Speaking of shit, my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, and then um, like I uh, got myself checked out, and then doctors were like, "Oh, I do you have like what problems do you have?" And I was like, "I have piles," and they're like, "Okay, let's take a look." And then they, they were like, "Oh, how did they check uh, it? I'm just curious. Colonoscopy. Oh, 
And I got raped by RoboCop basically. So, <laughs> so um, were you all awake during that process? I sort of woke up during the process. During the process, it's kind of weird because they Was gave a me <laughs> a moan of pain. Yes. Mm-hmm. No. So they had this uh, thing, okay, which they gave me the anesthesia through, mm-hmm. and then they said count backwards from ten. I'm like ten, nine by eight. <laughs> I was fucked. They're out. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then when I woke up, I was being fucked. But they gave me a little too less, I think, because I woke up in the middle of the process. And then I just remembered lying on my side and I like, I'm looking down on my guts like up till here because they pump air because they have to open your... Was there a puppet next to you? Oh, and then, so they, did they the forget back? to take the air out afterwards? No, no. So Because it's still they there, were still t- <laughs> <laughs> Same with you here. But, um, but so... Uh, I turn to look and then I see this doctor like looking at the screen and like yeah, feeding look. something through and then I did you feel it? I felt like some something pain. in your stomach yeah I felt I, my my stomach was like this big oh and then I was just like mm, and then the doctor said oh crap he woke up give him another dose <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody <laughs> uh, out but I thought I think in Bhutan you're awake during the process that's what I think that's sadistic I did endoscopy. Uh, I, I did. Awake. I did oh, an mean, endoscopy. I, in the I, was, I was awake. Yeah, the time. I, 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 supposed to be awake no yeah, yeah, I did. It's cheaper. Yeah. It's cheaper not to be awake. That's why you do it. Oh, awake. Damn. I Otherwise did endoscopy as well. But in, when they did the endoscopy for mine, yeah, I was awake. So I. So you did the, both the deep throat and the inner. I got bag. spit roasted basically, <laughs> not at the same time. <laughs> But imagine it was going. Imagine they mixed up the pipes. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, wrong pipe. Yeah. Let's switch. Let's switch. Yeah, yeah. On, Uncle, is that you? <laughs> and Uncle's buddies. Oh shit! I have a great colonoscopy story. So what? Uh, you you got colonoscopized? And uh, not me. Amongst my friend, and I'm not saying sure. my friend. Sure, no, sure. Seriously, friend. 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 Yeah. Asking so, for a friend. Yeah. So mm-hmm. one night. He went drinking, okay, and he was that night. He was shitting fancy. He said, I'm gonna drink me wine. He was shitting fancy. Drink, drinking fancy. Oh, okay. drinking fancy. Shitting fancy. So said, today I'm gonna drink fancy. I'm gonna what happened to heighten, heightened other senses? It's a myth. <laughs> <laughs> You're deaf too. You blind bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so then he yeah, went to drink wine, man. okay, all night. Mm-hmm. So he was drinking wine all night. He was drinking wine. Okay, mm-hmm. so the next day he woke up, and then he, um, he felt kind of upset. And he ate some bad food or something. Mm-hmm. So he went to take Maybe a shit. Maybe it was the alcohol. Maybe that. So he went to take a shit. Apparently, there's something called a hangover shit, which really, is, I think it's true. When you take a shit after a hangover, you feel really good. But anyways, he did that, mm-hmm. and he looked at his poop, and it was bloody red. Yeah. Bloody red, okay. Was and it red wine? So he thought, is it wine? Is it... Blood, like is it Maybelline the, or maybe she was born <laughs> with it? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, yeah. so like he didn't know that he wanted to be safe, so he got he panicked. He called his uncle. One, one. Always an uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Always an uncle. No. So he, uncle is actually a clinical. No, he has a clinic over here. So he yeah. called him. He said like, you know, uncle, this kind of thing happened. Can you check? No, that's very serious. Lucy, there's blood in your poop. It's very serious. I have to check Lucy. Jam, so was this at your clinic? Oh, okay. So anyway, so so he went, took he some time with the answering to the hesitation. <laughs> so he went there, no, and then he said like, I have to check Lucy. And he, he put on his glove, okay, and then the kind of started to figure out things, okay. He's like, okay, no, uncle, I think I'm good. No. He's like, no, no, it's very serious. And then as soon as he went, he went, he, went to, he went to leave, he locked the door. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, it's happening now. No, no uncle, said, senpai, yamate, <laughs> yamate, uncle, yamate. <laughs> So he said, bend over and we have to check, okay, it's for your own safety. So mm. he, did, he said, before I put the thing, I think mm. I'll just do a quick check. So he went down there, he bent on all fours. Mm. He went like, all yeah. fours? Why would, did he have to be on all okay, fours? I don't know, maybe. To spread it out, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just assuming he's on all fours. Oh, okay. So, so, so this is not a medical thing. Maybe so. <laughs> so when the, apparently he wasn't a doctor, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, he put the gloves on, took the vaccine or whatever, uh-huh. and he went and he stuck his fingers around, he was checking. It's like, it sounds four like fingers? he's exploring a cave. Uh, yeah, four fingers? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing right now. Simple okay. knuckle deep. <laughs> <laughs> One finger, two fingers, I don't know. Okay, oh. nah, maybe he's used to that anal gaping, whatever. So he's doing that. He's Angel it. holding. And, then, and after he checked, he was like, hmm, yeah, it was the wine. <laughs> he just <laughs> <immediately> left. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I got damn. violated for no reason. <laughs> No, but with that being said, for those I mean, of like, you, y'all wait, should get checked. If y'all no. are getting like problems, y'all should get checked. Yeah, but like, what w- for your friend? Oh. He said he he was. He's, it seems like he was unhappy with the result. So would he have been happier 
if they found like colon cancer or something well they was down there well, it was like unnecessarily <laughs> he, he put his fingers up his butt that's what i'm saying mm. is there a necessary yes yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> don't put your fingers up your butt <laughs> don't put the fingers up your butt speaking of putting fingers up but there's a what does it smell like your shorts no your smegma. mama smegma smegma what dick cheese smegma dick cheese yeah. smegma dick cheese actually that's uh emmatasi So that's how emmatasi smells like. What? But that's is it emmatasi a euphemism for dick cheese? Nope. It is. No. Emmatasi used to be for porn. Wait, that's the speaking of no, emmatasi. No, we're not rev- doing oh. a reveal. We're not doing a reveal. No, we're not. No revealing going on around here. It's Damn okay. it. It's okay. I want okay. to talk about that. I want to talk about that too. The majority But of I, I like how you got that out of what I just said. Yeah, yeah. But the majority of followers are women. So, am my girlfriend's out of town. When does this episode air? In like in the next week. In the in the in, oh, in the okay. coming days. Yeah. Can you air it tomorrow cuz she's only out of town for a week? No, we get her work that fast. <sighs> All right. So, I guess we're not doing a reveal then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Speaking of um doctors who um do checks, you know, So there's this Penis. joke uh, so this guy he goes up goes to a doctor has pain, you know? Mm-hmm. Got pain, but so the doctor is like Oh, it looks like you Wait, have, have. Has your friend considered not having gut pain though, like gut pain? You know. No, no, this is not my friend. This is just no, a joke. Is, a joke. I have considered not getting pills, but then my diet just would not allow <laughs> it. Consider not being blind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've, I've made those considerations as well. I got you a joke. <laughs> Fuck! I forgot to make those. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw an end in sight. <laughs> You never saw. I never no, saw no, the end. No, so anyway, um, well, so I, one more question. Sorry, one more question. Mm-hmm. Like, if you are about to die, like we see the light at the end of the tunnel, what do you? You see the tunnel at the end of the light. <laughs> <laughs> what do you hear? I think I hear the light at the end of the tunnel. Would be the correct. But anyway, yeah. So this guy goes to the doctor. He complains of gut pain. Mm-hmm. The doctor does a few tests, and then the doctor is like, "Oh." You've got a growth in your thing. It's it's benign. in your what? In your butt. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's benign. What's benign? Benign. It's not cancerous. Okay. Be so then. <laughs> so eight. so then the the doctor's like, but I I have to give you two pills and they're both suppositories, so you have to insert them rectally. So he said, I'll insert one right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he puts in one pill, okay? okay, and then he says, the next one you have to do it after dinner. Mm-hmm. So then the guy goes home and then he eats dinner and then he tells his wife awkwardly, he's like. I have to put this up my butt. Could you help me? Mm-hmm. And then she's like, "Oh, okay, honey." And then the do- the guy like bends at the hip like that at the table, mm-hmm. and then the wife puts one hand on her shoulder on his shoulder, mm-hmm. and then he's like, "Okay, here it comes." And then she puts it in, okay. Mm-hmm. And then he screams. Mm-hmm. He screams loudly, okay? mm-hmm. and then, like in pain and disgust. And then the wife's like, "What's wrong? Did it hurt?" And then he goes, "I just realized when the doctor put it in, he had both his hands on his my shoulder." <laughs> 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 uh, I, was, I could put two, two together. <laughs> damn, damn. See, that's right. what happens when you drink too much. All right, so don't drink too much. Um, I guess that's. Uh, is that the lesson? How about, have you considered not drinking? Have you <laughs> considered not being an alcoholic? Yeah. Have you considered not having pain? That's a good one. Mm. Are right. you in American school? Cause I'm about to shoot you up. We're about to shoot some kids inside you. Oh, nice. <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> right, I'm gonna use that. I guess that's a good way to end it. What? <laughs> We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We got plenty of time. What? We don't. Casey's out there. So <laughs> she's gonna be out there for another 30 minutes. Oh. You cool? You cool with waiting, right, Casey? Nope. While you're there, no. Why don't you make us a sandwich? There, uh, there's no point <laughs> nodding. Tube, kiss him after tube. I'll, I'll slap him. Tube. There's no point nodding. I can't see it. Oh yeah, in case he can't see. I, I had a feeling she was nodding because I was like, are you there? I can make the silence of them. Yeah, hey, this is a family show. Yeah, talking about butts and yeah things inside butts. <laughs> By which we mean they're all uncles who are what watching. Kind of, what kind of family are you? Are you from Alabama? The aristocrats. Roll Tide. <laughs> so can the this intro to this song, uh, to, to this podcast be Sweet Home? No. Sweet Home Alabama. And then no. cut to him talking about no. how this is a family no, I'm just show. saying, we don't do this around here, okay? We don't want to get copyright flag. 
Like I fuck. We're not gonna. We're not gonna play the song. <laughs> He's calling it. Fuck your <laughs> sister. No, fuck my sister. Down and sweet. Home. Fine, sweet home Alabama. 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 Oh, yeah. sweet home Alabama. Then. Oh, we should find a guy named Pema and then. Is there? A, is there a sweet Pema in the house? Sweet home Alabama. 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 Al- Alabama's got that twang. You know the twang, twang that boys. There's no Savannah accent like molasses falling out of your mouth. What the hell is that? That's definitely not molasses That's falling true. out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's like not wanting to swallow. swallow. Uh, yeah. My uncle wasn't happy with that. All right, so <laughs> I really want to know what happened to your uncle. <laughs> what happened to you, Kevin? Like, Were you violated as a child? What do you think? Huh? I think no, a lot no, of things what do you think? What do you think? But like now, does the do the issues make sense? Are we considered just... not getting violated? <laughs> Everyone has that one. No, no, now we are not going in bed. <laughs> All right, so I've been telling you to to watch Arrested Development, no? Yes. Yeah. I still have not watched. You got to watch it. I know. I I've watched I've quite a few. I love uh, what's his name? Um uh, Michael. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. Why is this? Best guy. Best guy. So After good. for me it's him and Paul Rudd, mm. funniest guys on on planet Earth. That's debatable. Paul Rudd's the No, they they have this quirky like this is there's also Steve Carell is also good. Yeah, he's okay. Steve Carell is kind of good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, so but anyway, mm-hmm. there's a speaking of all this doctor talk. There's a doctor in Arrested Development, and mm-hmm. he's like the worst giver of medical news. Mm-hmm. So Kashlo, um, Buster, one of the characters, um, like gets attacked by a seal, right? Okay. And so loses one of his arms. Oh damn! They go to the hospital. The mother goes up to the doctor, and the doctor's like, you know what, Buster, your Buster, he's mm-hmm. gonna be all right. Um, then then everyone's like oh my no, yes Buster. yes yes right and then uh, and then the doctor's like wow this is the uh, this I I was so worried about giving you the news I didn't think you would take it so well and it's like why did something bad happen yeah he lost his left arm he's gonna be all, all right, right. <laughs> <laughs> ah this is joke or in uh, America's Got Talent the lady comes up like lady hey you guys are you all right. Yes. No, you are all left, and it was dying. Like quite. Pain. Meanwhile, I was dying inside and <laughs> laughing my ass off. And it was like pim pim pim. She went out there. That's a oh, great no. joke, though. Mm. I don't know. That's a good joke for me. <laughs> There's one guy comes also. He says, "No, you know when it's my chicken's birthday, I don't tell him because he wouldn't understand." <laughs> <laughs> I heard this one yesterday. Um, what do you call a guy with no arms or legs? Huh? Matt. Oh my God. Matt. Yeah. Matt. I I ran out of all orphan jokes. Yeah, uh, I told all my orphan jokes. Wow. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear my orphan jokes. I'll give you another orphan joke. <laughs> what did the blind and deaf orphan <laughs> get? For Christmas, you cancer. <laughs> yeah, but apparently an uncle a finger off his butt also. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> All right. Okay. How about this? Mm-hmm. Um, what do you call mm-hmm. a sad vegetable? Uh, a sad fruit. A sad fruit, yeah. Yeah. Watermelon All right. So you get you get my drift, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you call a sad vegetable? Paraplegic. Oh, okay. Yeah, I... <laughs> uh, please edit that out because I'm, I'm doing some work with Ability Society. <laughs> oh, we can't edit. We don't edit stuff. Out. Yeah, this oh, is sh- the unedited, unfiltered, uncensored cipher. Hmm. Bigger, longer, uncut. <laughs> so, not Jewish. <laughs> we are definitely not for the Jewish community. Mm. Not kosher, mm. but apparently halal. He he said he tried to get me halal apples. And I said, that's not how halal works. <laughs> halal apples. But he said he wanted halal apples. No, 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 no. I couldn't find a guy called halal apple. No comments on that one. <laughs> we don't mess with them. <laughs> Especially not now. Mm. Ah, cancel culture is coming to get us for this episode. That's for sure. I think if you if you do get cancelled, you should have been already cancelled. <laughs> yeah, what was like top five? Give me top five. What are some of your like the most cancel worthy things because someone's doing an no. investigation and no. that like I'm not gonna say it. Please. I don't no. want to get cancelled. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to get cancelled. Please, I like living in Bhutan. I like living I, in I think you're safe with I'm, that. I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more concerned. Uh, my thing is more about the hard 
like hardcore uh, what's that? Yeah, porn can, can <laughs> yes that too no I'm, I'm more concerned with the the, 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 the the SJW mentality yep. which is going to probably come after us for this episode I have no comments on that mm-hmm. SJWs I support everyone equally have you considered <laughs> not have supporting you, <laughs> not supporting anyone what else have you considered consider? all uh, equal rights and equal lefts <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> when I was watching, listening to that. Uh, oh, by the way, today's episode Australia. is called "Have You Considered." Have you considered? Yeah, I thought it was called. We called what? what Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Okay, I think consider. We've been using that bit a lot. Yeah. So we can use like, uh, "Have you considered?" And we can all be like, <laughs> for the thumbnail, right, for the thumbnail. Okay. okay. Oh wait, wait. Oh my god. Have you considered not wearing sunglasses? Nice. Oh, you look like shit bull. <laughs> Where? That's some nice shit you got there, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. You are. Take it off. <laughs> Which barcode does this shop belong to? <laughs> <laughs> it's my. I am a walking drip tray scanner. Mm. But you know what? And Give how long do I have to stand before it? Works? Five minutes. <laughs> and then, Kishlo, once you. How long? How far do I have to be back to zoom out to get wow. the whole picture? No, that's <laughs> one of the weirdest things. Is sometimes when I'm using drip trays, right? Like I'll go really close, it'll not ring. Hmm. Sometimes I'm at it like really far, it rings. You have an Android, right? Yeah. Uh, you have iPhone. an iPhone. Mm-hmm. You don't have a problem with Drew Trace, do you? No. Yeah, because apparently the app was built for iOS and mm. instead of building it native for Android, mm. they just like basically emulated the ah, code. So man. that's why it's not that Android sucks. It's just that people want Android too. But in Android? Mm. Yep, OnePlus 9. So my phone oh, is ten. I'm considering the one plus. It's it's called so my phone is called ten, because it's one plus nine. Oh, it's ten. Ah. Yeah, it's ten. But people always think it's like the iPhone ten. So. Mine is the fifty. How much did it cost? He doesn't want to discuss. Fifty. 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 That's a good deal. Eh? Yeah, it was a good deal. It's the Hasselblad camera or Hasselblad. It's got that watt charging. No. Oh yeah, twenty-four minutes zero to hundred. So, was the sponsorship deal with OnePlus? Did it come through? No. We let you know. We keep you posted. Oh, by the way, yesterday at Mojo, somebody told me that the guy who created Konami was there. What? Yeah. How? I have no clue. Yeah, like it's pandemic. Why? That's what even I was so confused because I was like, how did the guy who created Konami get to Bhutan? And my friend's like, I think it's, I don't know. But then again, my friend was super drunk. So. Mm. What 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 games does Konami have? Winning wow. Le- <laughs> Winning Eleven, uh, Resident Evil, Mar. Uh, what, what do you call oh. it? What do you call it? Marvel vs. Capcom? No, man. No, that's, that's, that's Capcom. That's Capcom. <laughs> Marvel vs. Konami. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel vs. Konami. All the Pro Evolution soccer. Apple's <laughs> new iPhone 12 by Samsung. <laughs> anyway, oh, what yeah. games is Konami? Yeah? I have no Resident Evil. Really? Um, what, what is it? What is it? I'm uh, gonna look it up. Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid. What else is there? Tejiga? Konami da. How could I not know about Konami? All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I just said, what's that game? Uh, oh, wait, pull, pull Evil it Within. Up. Evil Within. Evil Within. Evil. Oh, okay, there we go. He's got green shorts today. No, he said pull it up. Pull it out now. Uh, so there's Pro Evolution <laughs> Soccer. Of Castlevania. Oh, Castlevania. Castlevania. Of course, Contra. Ah. Contra! <laughs> You're just gonna do random noises when I. Yeah. Pixel Puzzle Collection. Pixel Puzzle Collection! Zone of the Enders, the second runner, Mars. Okay, now these all random ones. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Like he said. Metal Gear is the most popular one. Really? Contra? Metal Gear, man, it's more popular. Oh, I, guess, I guess someone grew rich. We had to play Contra on I played Contra. Home video like game. Like home video game. Home. Family. Family. Family Bro, game. Bro, I started yeah. it up with Duck Hunt, man. Okay, I thought. Man. You had the gun to play it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do? Actually... <laughs> we just watched the screen. We didn't have the gun. Privilege. Privilege. When Kashla back in my day, him. we didn't even have a TV. <laughs> we just went out to shot Gitty at the. We yes. actually went down to the river and hunted real ducks there. Yeah. Back in my day, we just fucked. Armel, enough of your uncle stories. Oh, yeah. This is not nothing to do with, with my dumb, uncle. Dumb out Auntie? <laughs> remember, remember those games back in the day? I don't know what it's called. That Ecology, you know? And you take that cycle. 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 C
What is that thing called? You're talking about that tire that we used yeah. to make the and wheel. You, and you bed and you take a char and you just... Yeah. Yeah, the cycle. I don't get the point to that game. It's cycle. It's not a cycle, man. It's just like... It's better than throwing a rock around. <laughs> going like that. It was that or it was beat up your friend. Kids, uh, doing <laughs> that, that. We no, did that. What do you mean? Wow, that is privilege right there. Because yeah. we did that. I did it also, but I don't get why I did it. <laughs> I don't get what fun was it. What, what was doing this was the fun. Bitter. So everyone I mean, was doing us like the, the other world. thing we used to do is we used to take our um, bata chapels and we used to like cut out. We used to take out the. Uh-huh. We used to cut a whole uh, circle out of it and put your dick into it. <laughs> I think the show is about the family anyway. show, people. Family show. <laughs> yeah, we just made scooter like those connected to two sticks. And, and put oh, yeah. same thing. Yeah, it's like it's what? like making a lawnmower. I don't know what it is. What? It you had like a making, lawn? It was like making a lawn more. Privilege. <laughs> yeah, technically I did have a lawn. See, I grew up in Pavisa, right? And it, it isn't the Pavisa that you know right now. Between 2004, when the government said... There were Tyrannosaurus Rex roaming the earth. It was a while. We walked up. <laughs> walked they were, uphill they, both ways. They were gangs of survivalists. Compasses. I think I lost to the... Privilege, man. Privilege. We had to look, look at, at the sun. sun. Have you considered not being privileged? <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered having privilege? <laughs> so, Ani in 2004, the government told pubs to stop um, Ari. Ari and stuff, mm. right? And so the, the idea was they were going to bring in um, development and then everything gonna, was going to be peachy, right? But then, obviously, it didn't happen. So for like, from 2004 till like 2008, 9 or like 10. Village. It was, it was it was horrible man there was like gang fights in the streets like we would walk up like on the way back from school because we had to walk right we just between 2004 and four and eight like around that okay. time um a lot of poverty in the area and this was before people had australia money so nobody was buying mm. land in pavisa right so Dipsy was a forest but now Bob's all rich land <laughs> So you but, bobs are rich now? But Himalaya, they can't fight the So like they used to fight in the streets, man, and they used to like. <laughs> there goes my bob money. Bob put me the No, also oh, the other thing about being a pop is it's a matrilineal culture. So What's that it mean? goes mother to oh, daughter. Oh no, me too, mm-hmm. me too. But so it is considered cutting your dick off. No, okay. you consider it, it is a, a, it is a like a. See the thing is, them is <laughs> it, you can you can actually use it as a pickup line right now. Pubalina. Just go to girls and be like, uh, uh, I'm from Barbasa. I'm actually from Barbasa. What? Sarvathang, new Barbasa, new Bab, new Bab. No, Sarvathang has always been Barbasa. Mm. I'm new Bab. Ah, uh, he's old. He's old money. You're new money. I'm new money. We don't. We, there's no money involved anywhere, man. <laughs> We're just old. <laughs> but yeah, we're in Barbasa. Artisanal. Yeah, oh, I cannot discuss that. That's called Ngabi Poo, man. Ngabi Poo. Da. What are you doing? I'm going to make a map because all of you idiots are spoiling the name of Pavisa. Like, up until this year. It's his job to do that, all right? Up to until, spoil the name of Pavisa. Exactly. <laughs> up until this year, people thought that Anikashla, the area around Dantak was called Pavisa. That's Simtaka. Isn't it Dantak? That's Simtaka, man. It's Pap Salu, man. Salu, man. What? Yeah. How did you become the freaking geographic expert? I grew up there. You know. In the street. Oh, oh you, you peasants when, calling Dantak by the sir. I'm a true bop. Oh. You know. <laughs> you take my satchel of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy peasant. Take all the out the gloves. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually the opposite because the reason I know all of these places is back in the day. You elitist. Bops, bop gangs were all divided by the region, man. There was a Gebjaka gang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so where, do you, where do you reside in the Peaky Blinders area? Like, look at this shit. Huh? Do you think I ever belonged in a gang? Huh? Yeah, they, you look like the... the, the, the you like look the, like the punching bag for the gang. The, 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 the big guy with the two axe tattooed. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I thought you were talking more for that little toy that Po has to punch. You know the one that... Po himself. Po himself, yeah. Po. Unfortunately, it's too Speaking of Po's, how's your uncle today? Or himself, man. He's oh, also sorry, a poor. Sorry, sorry. I was about to say, speaking of poor, how's your dad doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I say that with, I say that with full respect. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm, I'm trying to get some work from his dad. So speaking of bubs, babes, this, babes, are Stop you are you from Babisa? Because you're a Th- that babe. only works for him now. Like yes, he's the eh. only guy who can use that pickup Sa- line. No, the pickup line is you go up to a girl and say, I'm, I'm from Babisa. Babisa. So that's it. Mm. Like born and bred. Because so, they think you got money, man. But, but now, it's, now it's Debsi there. 
Now yeah. it's Dipsy. I'm from Dipsy. Dipsy is also the Perth Perth kind of Perth money. I got, I got the Perth money. money. I got the Perth money, man. I'm from Dipsy. The Aussie Ooh. money, man. Ooh. Good day, mate. <laughs> Good day, mate. I've got that kangaroo coin. Haha. <laughs> 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 the Joey money. The Joey money. The Joey oh, Joey. Oh yeah, they call Joey's no the the baby kangaroos. Yeah. Wait, I thought. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so I'm getting confused with Joey's and Wallabies. There's that. What's a Wallaby? I don't know, but what there's is a, a wallaby. It is. There's a, there's a, in Australia. Or? No, there was a whole episode. There was a whole like bit in Friends where um, Joey is trying to write a fancy letter, so he uses the thesaurus functionality, oh, yeah, yeah. and so he signs that letter, "Baby Kangaroo." <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. So that's how you know Joey oh. is a baby kangaroo. <laughs> he signs Joey. Yeah. Oh, baby All right. kangaroo. All right. So I think uh, you got a problem. <laughs> Huh? He's the only one who's like, okay, I, I, are we done? Can because huh? I gotta take care of my take care, take care of my friends, man. You gotta take care of your friends. Yeah. Why did you bring your friends to the pod if they're not willing to stay in the pod during the pod? Because I love my friends. Where are you all going, by the way? What's your plans, woman? The Pema, obviously. Huh? To drink? Huh? To the drink? Pema. Not being responsible citizens? Huh? What did you do last Says night? Says the man who came like huh? yeah. like do you fifteen wanna go? minutes late. Do you wanna go drink? On me. Just on you, on cool. you. Speaking of which, this is end of time <laughs> exactly. part number 14. Yeah, I'm so happy you guys came here. <laughs> I think he's implying when he says drinking on me, he means a body shot. What? No, <laughs> man. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Here you go. No, I'm not going to be motorboated on no, camera, come, man. Come. You did not pay me for this. Come. Rock, paper, scissors, motorboat. If you lose, I motorboat him. <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, by the way, guys, um, um, <laughs> Rock, um, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Best of all. <laughs> 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 oh, my okay. God. Okay, let's go. I think since you did the intro, I'll do the outro. Uh, hang on. Um, By the way, uh, did you guys subscribe to Sexy? Yes. What? Did, Oi, who is sexy, by the way? Come here. Come here. Come, come here. He is sexy. Hey, there's Jimmy Sexy. He is the owner of You Are Sexy. sexy. And that's sexy spelled with a... Sadembo Sega Sek Saki Kusi. Sexy. 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 And for everyone oh, who Oh, we got the plug. We got the plug. Yeah, they get a parlegi. Did you follow? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I want that parlegi. Oh. Okay, can I get the hot water as I, well? I got it. I got, got yeah. it. Hot water. Privilege. Back in my day, we had to... Dip Paliji in cold water. You had water? <laughs> <laughs> Privilege. Yeah. Back in my day, we had to write hot water on a piece of paper and that's how it worked. Blacky. Back you had in paper? My, <laughs> back in my day, we had to write it on a you slate. You had a pencil? <laughs> we had to write it on a slate, man. You had a pencil? No. With what? No. That's not <laughs> Back in my day, there was no coal. <laughs> Why do you say you want to give hot water, but then you give it in a note? And how much He's giving you hot water. To don't take don't don't explain the joke. Don't don't try to break the joke. <laughs> what do you mean, Sai? That looks like a glass of hot water to me. You, <laughs> but wasn't that what you were doing in Twitter B? What? Explaining the joke oh, yeah. every five minutes. I had to. Speaking of someone else, so before you leave here, you're working with some bits on someone. Or I wanted to ask you, what are you doing with someone? I can't disclose that information. Are you making any creative work? No. Some shows? Are you solving any problems creatively? Yes. Are you, are you doing some data work? No, but hopefully, because uh, someone's got, someone's like, I think the most exciting st startup, right? Not just because they hire a lot of people. They've worked with over 500 creative people already. Long, yeah, yeah. Right. So including us. Them. Mm. No, not me. Well, you are creative. But I didn't work with them creatively. Yeah, you're second hand creative. How's that? Yeah, you worked sure. with them. <laughs> so not creatively. <laughs> I got voted voted by everyone. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, so they've got some they're like they like the coolest startup in Bhutan. Yeah, right? sure. Want to work with them? Um, let's see. Um, would want to do some data stuff. Mm. I thought actually when you, you did that, like I'm on some the you asked him that yeah. IG post. I thought literally you were going to start a buddy cop. I was actually looking forward to it. It would be so cool, right? <laughs> right yeah, we, we should. We, we should, we should, should have a Bhutan should have a buddy cop. Yeah, but a cab man. Hmm? A sitcom. We should have a sitcom. Basically. We should have a sitcom. I have an idea for a sitcom. Pitch My it. friend Sangetile, mm. pitch it, pitch it right isn't now. he a sitcom? Yeah, he's definitely a sitcom. Exactly. What, his life? Yeah, yeah. So he used to own this very cool cafe, mm -hmm. right? Cafe Incomplete, where Elsewhere Now is, mm -hmm. right? Cafe Incomplete. Yeah. That's a nice name, man. Yeah, and then they left the spelling incomplete. Like, they just, Cafe they spell it C-A-F. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's so incomplete that it's elsewhere now. Yeah. Yes. Well, welcome to Kaf. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah. Uh, like uh, when he used to own that place, he was like, I think he was a business for like a month, mm. and after that, it just stopped being like that. You know. Like so, uh, so how was that a sitcom me kind of background? Because everything that happened, like things still happened there. It was just, it just wasn't a business. This one time, this girl comes in running, mm-hmm. right, and then we're talking, and then turns out, uh, she's she's coming inside to the cafe to hide because she saw her ex boyfriend in the streets, right, and then, damn, as this girl is t- and telling us about avoiding men, two guys start hitting on her, man. No, I'm telling you, you can't make right, this shit. Right in this cafe, yeah. Yeah, right. Sounds like one a, of them sung it in there. No. Okay. It, it sounds like a setup for a porn. I mean... I'm hiding from my ex-boyfriend. Can you help me? <laughs> Two men with big schlongs. I can't help it. I'm stuck in this cafe. Oh, oh no. Step brother, what are you doing here? All of a sudden. <laughs> what are you doing, Step Cafe? <laughs> what are you doing, Uncle? <laughs> uncle? Uncle, why? Hey, that, that's mine. I hold the rights to that. To Uncle? I retain the rights to that category of porn. Porn, yeah. Uncle porn. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, guess what porn is the most popular in Bhutan? Incest. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, He's already told they, me he, this. He, he, you, you did, he did a lot of research. This, this was on Pornhub, X Videos, X and Double X. Oh. Um, so Pornhub, so the, all the Pornhub network, right? So Red Tube, U Porn, all of that. So Pornhub actually releases the insights by itself. The mm. Geographically? X, yeah. And X videos, kidi, forget where I got it from, but yeah, sure, is the you most. forgot. And here's a it. no, here's a here's the cooler thing. Mm. If you want, <laughs> you can put the infographic I made in 2019 up here. Please bigger. email it to us. Sure, <laughs> email. Why don't I? Why don't I send it via Telegram? No, Telegraph. No, we chat to do it. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> so. Okay. Here's the shocker. You have WeChat, you privileged this channel. <laughs> I use a pigeon to send my emails. You have a pigeon, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a 21st century fox, but anyway, go on. So, um, Kajla, the most, I mean, Kajla, the shocking part of it was porn ca- any viewership in Bhutan, mm-hmm. 50-50. What do you mean? Oh, men, 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 yeah. men Ooh. Ooh. So, Ooh. So women stop acting all high and mighty with your, yeah? with your, I don't watch porn and if, shit. if any of your friends get too, and you just look high-minded, just be like, guess what your mother's doing, watching right now? Because <laughs> there's a probability, man. Uh, of course. <laughs> but I don't think the older generation are watching it as much I as us. I think they are. I don't, I do not discount the fact that they are. Yeah. Because people get horny, man. Yeah. What is your, what is your kink? No you kink. Watch? No kink. Regular missionary. Man, woman, missionary. Hmm, this is satisfactory. I shall go to the bathroom now. Oh, you know what I do? He types a really long set. Woman doing data visualization. No. Get stuck to, in her laptop. <laughs> I go to Excel. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I go to Excel and I'm like, oh, those cells. Oof. Those green. Those macros. Oh. I'm so sorry for your girlfriend. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all you see her as now at this point. Just an Excel. Excel sheet. Numbers. Next time she'll be dressed with all tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Spread some sheets on me. <laughs> Put in my cells. Spread in the fields, baby. Be in the fields. Yeah, uh, she's probably going to like unfriend. Not even that we are friends, but then she's probably going, she's to, going to add us as a friend. Then uh, unfriend just to unfriend us. us. Yes. And that's why you call it a spreadsheet. That's mm. the punchline. Yeah, because mm. you spread that shit. <laughs> sheet everywhere. Okay. Mm. So I think Poop is going to run off because he has. Um, and he's taking you along. Bad, bad, bad. I'm taking you along. Bad responsibilities to, to. to do, I don't know, but in it, poopy, try it know. in English again. Kore wa sugoi hito no wa atto ne chetto denwa suru ne shimas. Kimochi. You know he started uh, the show in Spanish, so. Como estas? Mi mi hablo inglés. Muy English. bien. Muy bien. Me pl- plomo o e plata o plomo. Me eh, pine el grande. Ah, uh, puta. 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 Burro. Is a popular dish in Bhutan. It's noodle. <laughs> yeah. Okay. With don't don't, said, don't take your Mexican friends. What do you me. want to plug, Poop? You want to plug anything? Nope. Nothing to plug at all. I follow would... Nyingdor. Nope. Here. No, no, not from don't here. Don't follow Nyingdor. Not from here. In fact, I would I would much rather you just blur my face out the entire show. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be associated with everything this show was. <laughs> oh, no. Your voice. No, we have to like, no, crap. Okay. You want to follow me here? You want to follow Poop? Here, you want to follow Kinle? There, 
you want to follow and don't forget to subscribe to Juno we're almost there we're Both almost on their there. Instagram and their YouTube here on almost to what how many to a thousand subs baby we are on 860 do you know I'm just beautiful yep we're almost there and we're gonna get that sweet sweet YouTube money so we can finally buy some nimbu pani <laughs> it's already what did you buy this with then huh with my own money wow I borrowed some from uncle and he did not pay with <laughs> me <laughs> money you know, see y'all next time sounds like uncle's paying you for something not borrowed let me done cut <laughs> Oh, thank God, man. Bye bye. Jump so. Oh. Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. <laughs> And we're back here at Cypher number 14. We got here, man. Nima Quiris, man. What's up, man? Get the goods. I'm going to 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 get the goods. I don't even like working out. What's happening, man? What's happening?